from the Sunmark Federal Credit Union Content Studio. This is the Sunmark 360 with Glenn Stacy. Hello, it's great to see you on the Sunmark 360. I'm Glenn Stacy. The Capital Region Chamber Entrepreneur Boot Camp, presented by Sunmark, is an award-winning 60-hour intensive training program that guides would-be entrepreneurs and existing businesses through the step-by-step -step process of starting, operating, and managing a business. The program ends with a business plan competition where the winner receives a $2,000 cash grant from Sunmark. After the spring class, we visited with the winner of the business plan competition, Charlotte Guyton, owner of Bard & Baker Board Game Cafe in Troy. And today on the Sunmark 360, we share that conversation, the day before Bard & Baker officially opens for business. Hey Charlotte, thanks so much for joining us. Thank and you. congratulations on winning the business plan competition. Thank you so much, Glenn. We're very, very honored to have won. Yeah, you were uh, in, I think, what the, uh, I think it was a record for the boot camp. 27 yes. would-be entrepreneurs, folks that want to start their own business here in the capital region competing, mm -hmm. uh, but really learning uh, at the boot camp. How does it feel to have been included in one of the largest classes and, and winning the, uh, the competition? Oh, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, the Entrepreneur Boot Camp the program that we did was honestly the best thing that we've done for the business so far. Um, we met so many amazing entrepreneurs in the class, um, ranging completely from <laughs> just completely different topics, traveling tie-dye, uh, car wash, uh, cafe, um, just all over the board, uh, just amazing entrepreneurs with really exciting ideas. And honestly, we're shocked to have won because <laughs> of how many amazing concepts there were coming to the Capital District. It's really amazing when you sit into these entrepreneur boot camp uh, classes, like I had the uh, opportunity to do, um, the amount of uh, talent and the ideas that are, you know, just simmering right here in the Capital Region that are you know, just need that extra boost like mm -hmm. an entrepreneur boot camp to help make them become reality. It's truly inspiring. Yes, it's really incredible sitting, sitting just with these other entrepreneurs and learning from them. Uh, the boot camp had a number of panelists uh, that were brought in to speak to the class, but really you learn just as much from your your fellow entrepreneurs that you do from the panelists. So tell me about what you have going on. It's, yes. uh, it's, a, it's a neat cafe concept that's Thank happening. You. Uh, that's going to be happening in downtown Troy. So why Thank don't you, you walk me through uh, your business idea? Absolutely. So Bard & Baker is a board game cafe, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a cafe concept placed um, with a heavy focus on the entertainment value of board games. And while this concept is relatively new to the Capital District, it's actually been wildly popular over in Asia for a number of decades and has been popping up all around North America since 2010 with uh, Snakes & Lattes in Toronto. So we discovered this concept um, and just really were fascinated by it. Uh, board games were something so special to me growing up. Mm -hmm. um, we would have family game night. We would sit around at the table. There was friendly competition, uh, laughter, <laughs> camaraderie. It was just so much fun. Um, and it really stayed with me over the years um, through casual game nights with friends now. Right. And now, you know, not so much. You see a Friday night, you know, used to be when I was like similar to you growing yes. up, you would, you know, might get around the table and spend time with the family communicating. Yes. Now it's a lot of <laughs> Friday nights, everybody on their device yes. kind of doing their own thing. So yes. it's uh, kind of a, a great concept to kind of bring that communication and that human element kind of back together and, and you have a meal mm -hmm. and you can enjoy yourself and play some games. Absolutely. And it's so important to us. This, this world that we live in right now is so technologically driven, which is wonderful. We love technology, but we're seeing people wanting a return to nostalgia. They want mm -hmm. to unplug. They want to disconnect. We've seen that uh, with music going incredibly digital and then the return to uh, vinyl. Now we're seeing that with uh, video games becoming increasingly popular and then this return back to board games. People crave that human interaction and we want to give them a space for which they can do that. And yeah, you had a little bit of help getting started. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your background and, and Absolutely. Uh, you know, what led you to this, to this moment of creating your own business? Absolutely. Um, so I'm classically trained <clears throat> in hospitality. I actually went to Paul Smith College up in the Adirondacks uh, for hotel, resort, tourism management. Uh, managed a Forbes five-star property up there for a number of years uh, and then made my way down to the Capital District. Um, um, and actually most recently worked for Heather Levine and Vic Christopher of Clark House Hospitality in downtown Troy. They've done, they've done some amazing things just with their own businesses in, in, in downtown Troy. They've been incredible and they really are what inspired um, just this love that I have for Troy uh, and for the Capital District. Um, working with them to build Pex Arcade, uh, Little Pex, the Tavern, We've just, we've done so much together and, and it was a really incredible experience and I'm looking t forward to creating a new place. What has been your biggest challenge uh, for you so far? I mean, it's, uh, th there's a lot on your plate when you're creating a yes. business, you know, and, and probably there could be even more than 
originally that you thought of that kind of met the eye. What's been your, your greatest challenge so far um, putting this concept together? So I love the research aspect of it. I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed that. Um, we've been working on Barden Baker for over a year at this point, um, but really the most challenging piece was the financial assistance. Uh, we couldn't do this without financial assistance, and the boot camp is what really helped us to fine tune that business plan and just really take a look at our financials, take a look at our marketing, take a look at our target market research, and ensure that it was, um, as ideal as possible to submit to the NYBDC. And we actually just received news this past Friday that we have full approval on our loan and we can move forward. Oh, awesome, excellent, that is so good to hear. <laughs> Thank you, we're very excited. Walk me through the, uh, the concept. So I walk into the doors of Bard and Baker and I wanna play the game of life. Yes. and have something to eat. What are my uh, game options besides the game of life if uh, my friends didn't want to play that? Yes. And can you give me a, just an idea of what you're going to be serving there at the cafe? Absolutely. Um, so our board game library is going to start out with around 400 titles, and we'll have uh, multiple copies of the more popular titles. Uh, a lot of your classics that you've enjoyed, such as Strate Stratego, Risk, Clue, Game of Life, Monopoly, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, to some more gateway games like Ticket to Ride, Settlers of Catan, uh, moving on into a lot of the more uh, esoteric and European style board games that are becoming more popular today. And it sounds like it's a, a place that you can go and just really relax as well, yes. besides the interaction, because sometimes you're not going to get through a game of uh, Monopoly in no. half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> so you can come and you can just enjoy, kind of dis disconnect and just recharge. And, and have some fun. Absolutely, we want it to be everyone's uh, best version of their living room outside of their home. <laughs> and what, what uh, does the menu look like? Can you share a little bit about that? Absolutely, so my partner, uh, Brian Connors, a classically trained pastry chef, uh, and he'll be taking the lead on our food program. We'll have a lot of light cafe fare, sandwiches, salads, bento boxes, uh, with also a focus on baked goods, pastries, uh, with a Japanese twist. Uh, and we'll also be going for a full liquor license, so beer, wine, and cocktails to make those board games more fun. Yes, yeah, a little more exciting. <laughs> exactly. It's that competition. Exactly. Well, that sounds wonderful. Before I let you go, what's your favorite game? Oh, that's such a tough question. Uh, really, it depends on my mood, the time of day, and the weather. <laughs> uh, but right now, I've really been enjoying uh, Ascension, which is a really fun deck building game, uh, and Sagrada, which is a really beautiful dice drafting game um, where you're looking to rebuild this beautiful sta um, stained mosaic glass. Neat. Now, downtown Troy is where you're going to be located. Yes. Uh, if somebody wants to uh, kind of keep track of your progress, because this is a, it sounds like a, a real fun idea. Thank you. Uh, and a place, uh, a real fun place to go relax and visit. How can uh, folks that are watching kind of keep track of what's happening with Bard and Baker Cafe? You can follow our prog progress on our website at www.bardandbaker.com or on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Bard and Baker. To learn more about the Entrepreneur Boot Camp and the Capital Region Chamber of Commerce, visit their website at capitalregionchamber.com. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time on the Sunmark 360. Don't forget to follow Sunmark and the Sunmark 360 on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.